I am clearly very dirty and back to work at the chateau. We are finally finishing the top floor very beautiful maximalist bathroom. I'm doing the finishing touches, the tiling, some other lovely last minute details. There's been a lot of glamour and excitement the last few weeks. We went to Venice, we've been in Paris, we've been doing a lot of running around and probably lots of you just like us have been wondering when we're gonna get back to work in the chateau and the time is now. Now you might actually recognize where I'm standing. Some of you may remember this project that I started ages ago. It's a top floor bathroom. It's so pretty, but it's tiny. This bathroom was, for lack of a better word, disgusting when we first moved in. But there was lots of mold and lots of work that needed to be done. It had the wood flooring. We weren't quite sure what to do about that. And so this has been a very big work in progress. Also, we wanted to have a statement bathtub. I really wanted a copper bath, but it wasn't exactly in our budget and so you guys might remember um, I did a whole video showing you how I created a copper bathtub the one right behind me and uh, took an old very old original bathtub that was actually here in the chateau and completely transformed it um, had to put all the plumbing in Simon did some beautiful woodwork and now we're so close to being finished I just have to finish the last tiling that butts up next to the bathtub. It's, it's an unusual shape, and so this is gonna be a little bit tricky for me. Um, and then some lovely finishing touches. And also we're gonna show you exactly how we did this room top to bottom. I did have Simon helping with some of it, but for example, the beautiful floor that I'm standing on now is actually a composite flooring that I laid myself, 100% by myself, with my own two hands. It took me about a day and it was very easy. It's on top of the existing wood floor. Our philosophy here at the Chateau is to never damage anything that's original if we can help it. And so basically this is a way to avoid having to rip up the flooring and also to have some flexibility with the style, but also to make it look authentic. And we're really pleased with this. It looks and feels just like real wood, but it is completely waterproof because that's the other thing. A lot of people leave the wood floors in Chateau bathrooms. I think that this is actually quite foolish when they leave the, the wooden floors exposed. We have several other Chatelain friends who live in very beautiful, very grand houses that have done that and all it takes is one bathtub overflow or one, uh, one rowdy shower and there is a very big problem underneath which can ruin beautiful moldings, beautiful salons on the ground floor and the first floor rooms. And so obviously we didn't want that to happen, but we're trying to preserve the charm and the whimsy of a chateau, but we're on the top floor. So the ceilings are much lower and we want everyone who stays on the top floor, sleeps on the top floor to feel every bit as special, as cared for and as magical as if they were on one of the main first floor or in America, you'd call them the second floor bedrooms. So um, we do everything we can to make everything as pretty and to make every guest feel equally special. So I almost put in extra love into these top floor rooms. You guys remember that I also did that lovely red bedroom. It's tiny, but Whoever stays in there, they feel very, very richly uh, coddled. <laughs> so um, now on to the last little things going on in here. And also in next week's episode, Simon is going to be tackling this other top floor bathroom. It's got some huge challenges and he's back to his carpentry. And we're also going to be reunited with some of our very favorite Chateau friends take this opportunity to thank the sponsor of this video, Wild Cosmetics. These are wonderfully scented deodorants as well as bath washes. And even when you're not looking that pretty on the outside, I mean today, look at me, it's really not great. I'm covered in plaster dust and in tiling stuff, but I feel pretty and clean on the inside. I'm taking a little break from bathroom renovating and tell Isabella about this sponsorship. I'm genuinely so excited about these products. I love Wild products. My friends and I use it all the time. They're perfect if you kind of want that clean girl aesthetic while still using recycled and sustainable materials. It's completely reusable, natural and vegan. They come in these little capsules, which you can see here for girls like us who are always traveling. There are body washes, um, soap, shampoo, and the deodorant. They're beautiful, interesting scents. It lasts for at least 24 hours, even with DIY. And look, there's no residue. And 
It just smells, oh my gosh, it smells so good. Oh wow. I love cherry blossom. It's sleek, it's elegant, comes with this completely biodegradable packaging. So we can't keep all of it for ourselves because we've got to get some to Auntie Ashley. It's really hard to find purely vegan cosmetics. So my sister just sent me this in the mail. It is shower gel with a case. It is plastic free, aluminum free, and vegan, like me. And it looks great in my bathroom. Wild is offering all of the Chateau Love viewers a 20% discount code, which you can see here and also in the link below. Thank you, Wild. Back to the video. Back to the video. Let me remind you what we've done in here so far. This bathroom has only a tiny roof window for light, so I wanted to create a vibrant room that feels playful and joyous. As many of you know, we adore anything with a bird theme, as well as extravagant garden flowers, so this design seemed to be the perfect compromise of 18th century chinoiserie and early 20th century Art Nouveau to match the original Art Nouveau bathtub. Though I would have loved to have chosen an upmarket wallpaper for this room, the humidity meant that we needed a solid vinyl. And this wallpaper had the added benefit of being very affordable. And yes, before you guys write it in the comments, another well-known chateau has used the same wallpaper. Great Chatelain minds think alike. And I did start this project ages ago without being aware of this. The solid cast iron bathtub was originally in the other top floor bathroom and was the only original bathtub left in the chateau. We especially loved its unusual Art Nouveau floral feet, but it was very, very shabby. I decided to gild the bathtub in several steps, also giving it some beautifully aged gold feet. The plumber was very dubious about my plans, but thankfully agreeable and fixed all the pipes in the exact locations. The next challenge was how to hide the plumbing. Carpenter Simon to the rescue and some free paneling found in the attic. Thank you this video and I just wanted to talk a little bit about some of the woodworking or the carpentry features that are in here. So one thing I want to show you is down here, all along here this is actually paneling but the way we got to that was by taking two doors and putting them on their side so here i am in the hallway and i was just explaining about the two doors that we use upstairs for the paneling well they're similar to this you see but we have these big doors here that we use in our hallway to go into our sitting room and music room. Uh, and there were a spare couple of those upstairs. So we just took those off and I put those down for the panelling. And that's, uh, that's what we did, you see? So extra doors that we didn't need. I'm not even sure where they came from. But uh, anyway, I've used them now as panelling. So I hope we don't need them for anything else. <laughs> and actually built a, a unit end here and put this wooden shelf across this is made of uh, oak so that's an oak shelf and i cut in just use my router and cut in along here a nice edging but that was a little bit of the carpentry i wanted to talk to you about so hanging the wallpaper on all of those uneven and sloping walls was another huge challenge. As with most of our projects, I was often working late into the night and it didn't always go as planned. During renovations, I still had my other work to get back to, and that included designing, sourcing, and uploading the latest additions to the Chateau Love website. We have some really lovely new jewelry pieces, including this gorgeous antique citrine spinner fob set in nine karat gold and sold with an 18 karat gold plated chain. A lot of you reached out to me ages ago when Philip from the Chateau Diaries gave 
a very similar citrine spinner fob to Stephanie and if I ever got another one to please let you know and here we have one. I'm always trying to find beautiful pieces for men and these cufflinks are astounding and very, very rare. They are black basil wedgewood cufflinks in 24 karat over sterling silver with full hallmarks. The image is a reinterpretation of a famous painting by George Stubbs from 1770 called Horse Frightened by a Lion. We have a gorgeous Victorian era micro mosaic daisy brooch from Italy. In jewelry, daisies represent simplicity, positivity, and happiness. Which brings me to my absolute favorite piece of the week. It's a one-of-a-kind French antique hand-painted brooch, and it has a very chateau-worthy image of a magnificently carefree lady in a splendid pink dress enjoying the delights of a tree swing in a park. Her shoe has flown off, but this has not dampened her delight. And statuary cherubs watch in wonder. Now you guys might also recognize the image on my sweatshirt and my mug from the prints that I created of Châtelaine du Jour and Châtelaine de Nuit. Um, some of you may or may not know that I turned those into sweatshirts and mugs and all sorts of merchandise, for lack of a better word. Um, for those of you who have ordered these items, I want to thank you so much. It does help to support the channel and it enables me to continue vlogging um, without uh, at the moment having a, a Patreon account. Or and in addition to the midnight blue color, we have also added the Châtelaine du Jour and Châtelaine de Nuit extra large tote bags in black in both the lady and gentleman versions. They're super sturdy and big enough to use as a weekend bag. When I designed these, I also added a secret fairy godmother or fairy godfather, your wish shall be granted pocket inside the bag. It's big enough to hold your phone, keys, and more. So I want to thank you guys so much. But the main thing about today is I go full Châtelaine du Jour, and it reminds me just to keep going. Because if I keep going with this, the Châtelaine du Jour, it means that sometimes I can be this, Châtelaine de Nuit. Today I'm Châtelaine de Jour, and I need to plug on. It's a terrible day outside, dark and rainy, and I'm gonna get some things done. Trying to find period appropriate sinks and toilets is always a challenge, but I found these lovely pieces from the brand Hudson Reed. Gold feet on the bathtub meant that we needed some equally chateau worthy fixtures. So I sourced gorgeous gold faucets for the sink, the bathtub, and even the toilet flush. Art Nouveau curtain tiebacks found at a Dordogne antiques market with our other chateau friends, Steve, Sarah, Stephanie, Philip, Julia, and Carolina, doubled as the perfect hand towel holder. Naturally, we needed some other gold accents in the bathroom. It is a chateau after all, and we do love a bit of sparkle. So an antique gilt étagère, a huge mirror, and smaller opposing mirrors were the perfect complements. One of the biggest challenges to this room was the ugly door. It fit, but it did not have any nice lines or moldings. So I decided to tackle this challenge by having three pieces of mirror cut and inserting them into the spaces in the door and voila, a full length mirror built into the door. All of the mirrors in this room have added a huge amount of light and reflection to the space. This tiling is super tricky because of the shape. See, there's a big gap here. So it's not just a straightforward tile job. Um, I already cut this piece here and the plumber has put it in place. And so going across that way is gonna be easy. Doing this bit is gonna be a little bit more complicated. So I'm using some cardboard to create a template and hopefully that will work. Measure twice, cut once. Measure twice, cut once. Measure twice, cut once.
So now you see that's pretty close and I think it's gonna work out nicely. Now it's time to cut the tiles. I am working in another space that we started a while ago and stopped for a bit and are now picking up again. This is the other top floor bathroom, which is going to be absolutely spectacular when it's done. Again, all the plumbing's been done. We just need to do some paneling, some tiling. And finally, we can get back to work. So to cut these tiles, I'm going to be using my template. And then I'm using what's called a diamond wheel. This is how uh, marble and stone gets cut and also difficult tiles. And it's a very wonderful machine. Um, not for the faint hearted, you have to watch your fingers, but this is the way to do it properly. Now you might be wondering why I'm using natural stone, a travertine instead of something more modern. And that's exactly why, because it is a chateau. We can always change the wallpaper, but we cannot always change the tile and the stone work. And so we want to keep things as neutral and as natural as possible. This is about to get really loud and really messy and so I'm going to play some nice classical music. Well, I am pretty filthy. And my lovely sweatshirt too, look. <laughs> Thankfully, it cleans up really well. It turns out that I'm not the only one who needs a bath. Baudelaire got into some mischief outside and Simon is on doggy duty while I'm tiling. Mm -hmm. You enjoying it in there? You having a nice bath? You're so good. Good boy. Uh oh, don't shake yet. Don't be shaking your ears yet. We're not there yet. Let me dry you first before you start to do that. That's it. Let's get you. Come on. You did so well. Well done, Bowie. Good boy. Nice and clean. Yes. That's awesome. And he was very well behaved, so. Okay, it's now time to do the, um, the adhesive on the back of the tiles. And then we're gonna leave it overnight and I'm going to grout. But the work doesn't end here. And so I need to get stuff done because we will be having guests as soon as we get back. I can finally lift heavy things again. And one of the heaviest is this giant thing of tile adhesive. I mean, it's 12 kilos. So you guys might've been wondering why there were some delays on the DIY. This was one of the reasons I wasn't allowed to lift anything heavy there for a little while. Tiles and adhesive and using uh, heavy tools those all fall into that category. But let's get going now, cause Simon's downstairs making dinner and I really wanna finish this project. Can't wait to be Chateaulin de Nuit again. <laughs> Chateaulin de Jour is really hard work. Oh, this is so satisfying. I have wiped some of the dust off myself. Now I just have to let these tiles dry. And tomorrow morning, finishing touches before heading back to Paris. Finally, hanging some soft white linen curtains over the modest little window added an extra touch of glamour while also breaking up the expanse of wallpaper. And of course, I needed a little bit of art 
so I couldn't resist this delightfully whimsical piece by friends Chris and Penny. So for finishing touches, I wanted to show you these lovely soaps that I found, and each petal can be pulled off whenever you need to wash your hands. I really, really love the gold fixtures. Not for every room in the house, but they really work out well in here. And of course, bath bombs. Those were gifts from Isabella. I might sneak up here and have a bath. Wow, what a great job. Look at this. I love it. Yeah, it's really nice. Well, I couldn't have done it without you and all your carpentry. Well, I love the... Your paneling turned out pretty well. The bath was really a, a labor of love. That was beautiful the way you did that. And I'm you're happy with all the shelving lovely and Lovely woodwork. Yeah. It all looks good. Yeah, and the rails, they all came out nicely. They did. And did you yeah. see Chris and Penny's little oh, picture yeah. that they made <laughs> for us with Fimo? That's lovely. Of the chateau. Yeah. Isn't oh, that yeah, lovely? It's beautiful. <laughs> I thought it would go oh. really well in here. It's Pablo. Uh, yeah. Oh, what are little white dogs? Yeah. That's good, these doors went, these, this is amazing though, this panelling is just basically, we took a couple of doors and turned them over and put them on, look how good they look. They exactly. Look I see love yours when you press me to your heart. I'm in a world apart, a world where roses bloom. And when you speak, angels sing. Of course, I love you, and I really hope that you know you'll be able to do more of these because they make a lot of people happy. Thank you. I love you. I love you too. Your heart and soul to me, and life will always.